Now, here's Chief Meteorologist Tony Petrarca with your live Pinpoint Doppler 12 Futurecast. Not only the bitter cold, but some snow in the forecast. Around this time tomorrow night, around the midnight hour, some small accumulations. Here we go again. Take a look at what we're tracking, which includes, well, for one, the frigid temperatures making a return. Wind chills are already below zero, so the wind chill advisory now through uh, 10 o'clock in the morning. And we're going to time some snow in here for later tomorrow night. The daylight hours of Tuesday will be on the dry side. I'll show you those numbers as far as amounts in just a second. Threat tracker now through. Tuesday uh, in the medium category just for the simple fact that we have the wind chill advisory with the very cold uh, wind chill values running well below zero and putting at least early Wednesday morning in the well, the moderate cat or the medium category as far as the threat tracker, a little bit of snow by the morning commute. The snow should be ending early Wednesday, but what's on the ground certainly creating some uh, slippery travel. So be mindful of that early tomorrow morning, uh, rather Wednesday morning with uh, some slippery travel. As we check out a nice uh, sunset this evening down at the campus at URI, a few clouds and then clearing skies. Temperatures have been tumbling uh, all night long, dropping down into the single digits. It's only six above in Providence right now. I throw in a bit of a breeze and the wind chill now running close to 10 below and getting even colder. Actual air temperatures close to zero. Gloucester's at two, Smithfield three, Providence six, Coventry five, and out towards westerly six. Many areas, especially northern suburbs, uh, falling below zero. The actual air temperature, in fact, up in Gloucester, we're not surprised me to see 10 below by early tomorrow morning, northwest corner of the state. Arctic cold front is offshore. Gusty breezes bringing in very dry and cold air across southern New England. Getting real close. Future cast starts off about now with the clear skies. We'll keep things clear, frigid, and dry right on through early tomorrow morning. In fact, all day sunshine, but the temperatures temperatures really don't really budge. I mean, only upper teens to lower 20s for daytime highs. Now, notice the clouds streaming in tomorrow night. There'll be an offshore storm system uh, tomorrow night. The worst of it will be a miss, but getting close enough to graze this with a little bit of blue on the map, which represents light to moderate snow. This is around midnight tomorrow night, and by early Wednesday morning, it's out of here. I've up the uh, accumulations just a smidge, anywhere from a coating to two inches across most of our viewing area, but from roughly New Bedford out towards the Cape, two to four inches of snow. We'll watch this closely to see whether or not this two to four inch area shifts further back towards the west. Regardless, we've got some small accumulations and some slippery travel by later tomorrow night, early Wednesday morning. Very cold tomorrow morning, dry with sunshine, only upper teens to lower 20s during the afternoon hours. By tomorrow night, we're thinking around midnight and beyond up until about, say, five, six o'clock Wednesday morning, some of that light snow, but it comes to an end at 32. Back to colder weather Thursday, Friday, and Saturday, daytime highs in the 20s, nights in the single digits will bring in some precipitation late Sunday into Monday of next week. That may be a mixture of rain and snow with milder temperatures and readings in the upper 30s to lower 40s. So along with a bit of cold, more snow, not a blockbuster, but a couple of inches probably uh, occurring by tomorrow night. Got to be careful when you're shoveling that. It's like an ice skating rink in people's driveways. Oh, the slush in the water from this weekend is freezing solid. All right. Thanks, Tony. Coming up next.